I was supposed to go ahead and do a video based on the outcome of the Alabama State's uh, Alabama Senate seat involving Roy Moore, the pedophile, the child molester, Hester Chester, the child molester, and Douglas Jones. By the way, Douglas Jones won, but I think I'm gonna do that one later. Until this came across from me, the notification from the New York Post that I had ended up getting. Um, from I understand yesterday, Colin Kaepernick had paid a visit to, um, to Rikers Islands to visit inmates. And get this, it seems like the correction officers aren't too pleased for him to be there, which is so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna try to see if I can read it. It's, it's a very long article which I read. I'm gonna put the link up to the uh, in the description for this. It's like, like we always say, anything that Colin Kaepernick does in a positive light, that the haters are gonna come out there and hate. You know, one of these crap babies get out there talking about saying, well, he's gonna cause them to set a riot because of him addressing police brutality. Shut the hell up, you little, these motherfucking CEOs up here wearing, look, wearing their little sugar thongs and stuff like that. These sugar thong wearing faggots just like that like that, like that faggot in uh, that ex Mesa, Arizona cop that gunned down um, Daniel Shavers like a coward. And he know the man was drunk. What Colin Kaepernick is doing is an inspiration and he should be applauded for this. You know, telling the kids, inmates, it's not because you locked down doesn't mean it's not too late. You still got time to get out here and do the right thing and be a productive citizen in the society and stuff. I think that was a godsend. But I'm going to leave a link up in the description for y'all to go ahead and read up on that and stuff. You know, like I, I said it once, I said it before, when it come down to Colin Kaepernick, like, you know, that's that Christ energy, man. You know? And I've sensed that with him since 2012 uh, from this, when there was the Super Bowl in New Orleans. And I said, like, dude, he's gonna do, he's he's gonna be something major. So, but kudos to Colin Kaepernick, man. Because in case anybody remember, in Rikers Island, that he gave ex-inmates who was out there trying to look for a job didn't have nothing nice to wear. Colin Kaepernick stopped over at a probation office down there in New York and, and handed over all of his tailor-made suits to give out the inmates. So they can go when they go to a job interview, they can look presentable. And like I said, I said this once and I say it again. All of you RBG Gaviite, you so-called um, pro blacks and the conscious, the conscious dudes, and and do that and and women who talk about saying, "Oh, Colin ain't black," blah blah blah, this and that. Ask yourself. What are you doing? Are you going going there talking to inmates? You know, speaking with them about things like this? No. Are y'all doing anything in that matter? You know, I don't see, and definitely I don't see Ray Lewis doing that shit. He's supposed to ask. He's talking about, I'm out of the streets every day. Colin Kaepernick went to Rikers Island to visit inmates. It was, he had breakfast with the warden first, then he went over there. But I'm going to leave in this link in the description to go ahead and do that. This is the narrator once again. I'm out. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. No more talk. I'm done. Peace and love.